Hey guys, welcome back to Jensen's Reptiles. Today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, fly culture from scratch. So, this is what you need. Some tall plastic cups that you're going to write the date on. There you, go. you are going to need some cloths, some rubber bands, some wood wool or some shredded newspaper or some cardboard. Uh, then you are going to need some white vinegar, some brewer's yeast, uh, Rapashi Superfly is optional, but I like to add it, it's really good stuff. And then you're going to need a mixture of potato flakes and cinnamon. Uh, sometimes I also like to add spirulina powder to this as well. Um, and then of course you are going to need some fruit flies. So usually when you're making a culture and it's not the first one, you will add the flies from your previous culture to a new one. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a new one from scratch today, so I've got some new flies in. So these are the ones. And what we're going to do first is we're going to mix a little bit of the potato flakes and cinnamon, bruised yeast, rapashi um, in this cup. We're then going to add hot water and some vinegar. So here are the cups with the dry ingredients added. You don't want to put too much because as soon as you add water to the uh, potato flakes they're going to expand anyway. Um, so that's kind of the amount that I use. And now I'm going to add the water and the vinegar. Um, so in the uh, culture, the vinegar and the cinnamon are both there to prevent any mold growing. Um, as you realise with potato flakes and water, you're going to get mold fairly quickly. But with the uh, vinegar and the cinnamon, it takes a lot longer for mold to start growing. So usually by that point, you're not using the culture anymore anyway. So this is with the water added, as you can see, it looks kind of gross. Um, you want this to be the consistency of baby food. So currently. You can see it needs more water. Um, what I like to do is add water and then leave it for a minute and then keep adding a bit at a time because um, the potato will absorb it and keep absorbing up to a point. So if you add too much, then it could be a bit liquidy. So it's best to add it bit by bit. So I'm just gonna keep adding water until it's at a smooth consistency and then I will show you the next step. So now we're at a uh, baby food or applesauce consistency we can add our wood wool. So this is what I like to use. Um, you can buy this a large bag at a time and it's really cheap. Or you can uh, make use of old letters or newspaper and just uh, run them through a shredder or rip them up. All you're doing with this is creating surface area. So in a small space you want these insects to have as much surface area as possible. So you can see small flies in here will have lots of surface space because they'll have lots to climb around on. That means that they're not going to be frustrated, they're not going to be packed together, they're going to breed a lot quicker and um, they'll be a lot more comfortable. So I'm going to get these done, I need both my hands and then I'll show you uh, how to put the flies in and uh, then we'll put the lids on. Now that those are ready I'm going to show you how to put the flies in. Um, these flies can't, can't fly, <laughs> so we call them walks around here. Um, I'm going to put them into this taller cup, this is a cup I use for dusting and that way it's easier to transfer the uh, flies into these other cups. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to film it because I need both hands to do it, but essentially what you want to do is just tap these and you'll see they all accumulate in one corner. Then once I take the lid off, I'm going to tap them into here. They're going to have a hard time climbing out of the tall cup there. And then I'll tap them into these cups individually, put a cloth on each one, and then rubber bands around the top. And I'll show you the finished product in just a moment. And this is what you should end up with. So the cloths are held on the top with a rubber band. So it's super easy just to uh, peel them back and shake some flies out. You can see all the flies are inside. Uh, they will move down. They will start eating the uh, culture at the bottom here. And they'll start laying their eggs. So in about a week or a week and a half, uh, there'll be larva in here. And then soon after that, we'll have uh, a lot more flies. So these are great for feeding small amphibians or even uh, tarantula slings um, or uh, small geckos. So very useful thing to be able to culture. Um, if I've missed anything and uh, you need more information let me know. I'll answer your questions in the comments. Um, but other than that, that's how you make a fly culture. So I hope that was helpful to anyone that needed to know. Um, check out uh, my other videos if you want to see what eats these flies. Um, if you like the video, 
give it a like if you haven't already please subscribe and um, I'll be making more videos soon thanks very much guys bye